Hi, I'm Game Guy. It is time for more. Let's play The Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. It's the one where you season your food, but don't do that actually, because that's not what it's about. Sup! Here's the deal 10 bombs, 30 rupees. Got it? I mean, I already filled up on bombs, so. That guy's there for a reason, by the way. Um. There's no bomb refills anywhere nearby. I'd have to go all the way back to that, uh, you remember in the previous episode, there was a wall I could bomb. There's also walls I can bomb in here. Also, you've got to be quick, so you want to kind of pick up your bombs early and not do that. I may actually want to stop with this, but we'll see. Because uh, you got to make your way through this maze uh, in a time limit, so you got to be quick. And I'm not exactly being especially quick here. Or useful with my bombs? It's not great. This is, this is a silly puzzle. For the record, you heard that noise, right? Y y you did? I think I got this on the same frame that the chest was about to disappear. Because by the way, the chest disappears. And also it, it still disappeared. That's weird. I've never done that before. <laughs> but yeah, um... If you take too long, the chest will disappear. Uh, so you gotta be quick. Um, but it comes back. Like, you have to reset the room, basically. But that also means you run out of, uh... You run out of bombs, because you're gonna need more. Which is why this guy is here, and you can buy more bombs. I don't need to do that, because I solved the puzzle in the most haphazard way possible. But it's fine, we're back in level 2 snake remains. On the other side, though. Yeah, there's the, that's the only way to get to that part of the dungeon. It's a little bit weird that there's just this little outside bit, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine, don't worry about it. But yeah, if you go all the way back here, this is where you can get some more bombs from these bushes, so, uh, you know. Just thought I'd, uh, put that out there. If you don't have any money, you're gonna kinda have to go back through here to stock back up. Those should respawn if you leave the dungeon and come back, or maybe they just respawn outright. I don't remember, but you only have a 10 capacity right now anyway, so... It's not like it's a big deal to get 10, considering each drop is worth 4. It's just, it's one of those things. Anyway. Gotta go ahead and push some more... It, I'm not really sure what these are. They're like fallen pillars or something? They're heavy is what they are. That's for sure. Yo, I got myself 10 rupees. I am officially the rich man to exist. The richest man to exist. I'm not actually that, but you know, we can pretend. Pretending is fun. You gotta be careful where you push this because there are cracked floors underneath. So you gotta, you gotta watch out. And so you don't like, I don't know, fall. Falling's bad. Anyway, there's a mini boss. Oh no, it's the floor! I can't believe the floor is attacking me. Why would it do that? You have to use bombs, by the way. Uh, do not worry too much about running out of bombs. This guy eventually spawns stuff to attack you. Like these little spider dude ads. They're not really spiders, they're. I mean, they have four legs. That, that doesn't constitute spider. Uh, I missed. Sad day for sure. It's fine though, he's dead. Yeah. Not a particularly difficult boss, also reused, <laughs> but that's not important. Don't worry about it. Anyway, made our way to the latter half of the dungeon over here. Kinda, it's kinda the latter half. Is there a bomb of a wall around here? Yes, there is. You can still push the pots, by the way. It's just a thing that occurs. Ah, here we have ourselves some Poles Voice. That's their name. Uh, sadly, I don't have a method of making noises into my controller, so, uh, gonna have to blow them up with bombs the old fashioned way. Uh, but it's fine. There's enough bombs in here to deal with such a thing, and they are in an enclosed location, so it's not too bad, but, you know. Ah, we got ourselves another turnstile. Love turnstiles with style. There's a nice little owl statue here for some reason. What are you about, owl man? When the mouth opens, attack from within, then superhuman strength will prevail. 
That's a very cryptic clue you got there, Mr. O. Remember when I called those switch grids? That's not what they are at all. <laughs> but it's fine. It's fine. I need yet another key to get over here. By the way, I haven't actually used the boomerang for much of anything, but if you use it on these guys, they turn into a fairy every time. Boomerang also stun dudes. You know, it's just it's a nice thing to do, I think. Uh, so I want this turnstile to go the other way, so you gotta do the age-old tactic of, uh, go over here and loop back around. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. And these guys will always respawn, so if you need a fairy, that's a good way to get it. What is over here, though? A bunch of snakes and such. That's fun. I love snakes in the snakes' remains. I don't, actually. Ah, there's a chest up there. How might I get to that? Not by falling in a hole, that's for sure. I think the boomerang will one-shot the bat... bat guys? Oh no, I have the hiccups. Yes, it will. All right. Whoopsie doodle! I thought that platform would go an extra mile. It did not, turns out. It only went like maybe a few feet at best, and that's just not good. These platforms have weird hitboxes. I'm not really displaying it much right now, but just, just trust me on that. Just trust me on that. I got myself a boss key. Uh, this turnstile over here really doesn't amount to a whole lot other than kind of being a central part of this dungeon because, I mean, I'm obviously, I'm, I'm heading down here again. I mean, I'm glad I turned it the way I did because that allowed me quicker access to going back down here, but, you know, I, I didn't have to do it that way, I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and look into these pots, see if I might find another fairy, because I've already lost half of my health again. Well, a fairy or two hearts will do it, so, you know, that's generally how it works. I'm just kind of curious if there is a fairy. Usually, they are nice to put fairies around the boss door, but not today. Yo, sup, it's King Dodongo Face. He's a dude. I'm gonna throw a bomb in his mouth, and then I'm gonna pick him up, cause he's a big boy. And then you're supposed to move and throw him, which I did not do, for the record. Uh, I, he doesn't look as good from the side as he does from other directions, but now it, well, when I say the side, I meant from, like, the front. His, his side sprite is, in general, the better sprite. Trust me, his mouth is open. All right, you can't hold on to him for too long because you, you saw he's trying to deflate there for a sec. So you gotta watch out. This is one of those rare instances where it makes sense to actually not have a sword equipped. Just, just you know, in case you haven't noticed. Just, just in case you haven't noticed, you know, it's one of those things because your sword doesn't do much in this fight. This is the bomb and bracelet dungeon. All right, all right. Don't touch the spikes, they hurt. Oh, I got myself a heart container. Let's get that sword back, though. Yeah, bomb refills in case you need them. Wow, I found the Phantom Hourglass. What a funny and original joke that's never been said. Yo, the gift of time. It's an essence of nature. Seeds sprout as seasons change with the gift of time. Wow. This seems like it should maybe be an Oracle of Ages, but it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's not a big deal. Sup, tree? How you doing this fine day? Thanks, G-Guy. I too received part of the gift of time. I just dreamt of Spool Swamp out west. Something is afoot there, but I can see no more. Hmm. 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 Hmm, indeed. I'm looking at a thing. Sorry. Uh, all right. Now that we have beaten the dungeon, it is time for this. We got ourselves some maple time. Maple time! Ow. Ah, she dropped a ring. I'm probably not gonna get it before she does, though. No, there's no way. Yeah, she will go for that ring. I'm gonna go and get a bunch of rupees then. Sucks to be you, maple! Uh, actually, real quick, before I go too far... I, I want to briefly mention something here. I gotta go back this way. This way. I think it's in here? I'm trying to remember offhand, and there's no real good way for me to check. Um, 
But this this cave here has a, another purpose, and by another purpose, I mean a purpose at all. Uh, if you're playing a linked game, there will be someone here that wants to give you a secret. Just just putting it out there. Um, just in case you are curious about that sort of thing. Uh, I'll be covering linked game stuff in like later videos near the end. Just, just so we're clear, because obviously I'm not playing a linked game right now, so I can't exactly cover this this stuff right now, you know, just putting it out there. Needs to be winter also, so it's time for that Rod of Seasons to come into play again. Yeah, now there's snow everywhere and the water's frozen solid. There's a seed patch there. Do not touch it. Uh, at this point in the game, actually, there's a few things you can be doing. Uh, real quick, there is a prize you can get back at the Subrosion Dance. I'm not gonna be doing this for a few reasons I'll explain later, but you can get it now if it is your want. Uh, just putting it out there. The prize you get is randomized, so it might not show up right away. Just just keep trying if, if you want whatever it is. It might be worth it. I can't do that yet, so it's time to leave. I don't think there's a whole lot else I can do around here without other items, but you know what? It's fine. Ah, I have what I need. This guy is awake and singing now. The seasons are in disorder. What will come of it all? Even I cannot see. They say a princess named Zelda lives far away. I hope to meet her. I wonder if she dances as well as Din does. I don't know. I'll ask her next time I see her. Uh, it might be a while. Ah, Tree Man is much bigger now, and you can go inside. This is important for Link game stuff, because you can go over there and talk to her, but she's not really important right now. So, don't worry about her. Uh, finally, my tree house is complete. <laughs> it's it's great. Uh, the more the tree grows, the more the treehouse does. Is what I'm gonna call it anyway. Uh, so you get more tree, the more dungeons you clear. By the way, in case it's not obvious, we're not going to ages yet. So just, just putting it out there. I hear some animals in the wild are used to people. Maybe you can make friends. Maybe. Or maybe you're just an idiot. No, oh, that's that's rude. That's rude of me to say. Absolutely savage, in fact. I already have the Rod of Seasons equipped, so what am I doing? Uh, when it's winter, I believe, now is the time to go down here. Oh, these grow in winter? That's weird. But, all right. <laughs> if you say so, now is a good time to go ahead and blow up the wall, me thinks. Blowing up the wall sounds like a ball. Let's go. All right. See, because now that the frozen water's here, I can get myself some money. Yeah, money. I love money. It's great. I should probably spend some. I'm not really near capacity yet, but you never know. I might be getting there. The zoo, I got some rings probably. Let's go ahead and... Oh, never mind, I don't. I guess I didn't find any rings in that dungeon. Well, that's tragic. I'm, I'm so used to just having a ring by now that I can, I can pawn off or something. In the shop, he is now selling ourselves a flute. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. It's strange fruit. You can buy it with money if you want. It sure looks rare. I mean, if you say so, I, I don't I don't know if it's that rare. Anyway, I got replaced with hearts. I'm gonna go ahead and use my strange flute. Your song just echoes. Wow, I made a noise. Let's check in on the baby. Sup, baby? Oh, watch looks a little strange. I wanna take him to the doctor, but we have no rupees. He just keeps beeping. It's beeping disease. Could you lend us some? I don't know, maybe. Let me check a thing real quick. <laughs> I'm professional. I check things before I start recording. Don't worry about it. All right, sorry, I had to check a thing. It's very important in this particular situation. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll lend you some money. 
How much can you lend us? It honestly does not seem to matter how much you, uh, you spend here. Um, so spend as much as you feel like. It'd be nice. You know, I'll, I'll go for a nice middle ground at 50. That's probably good. This should be just enough. It's, that's good. I'm glad we can stop the watch from beeping forever. Finally. Hey, G-Guy, my boy is ill, but I still have something to teach you. Ah, a traveler once told me the time it takes for a planted gosh seed to mature the tree is related to how many monsters you slay. Could this be true? I think this is actually where I heard about the finding soil patches thing. Thinking about it, because this guy gives you random info about Gasha trees and such. Magic rings, but sometimes you'll find rupees or hearts. Wow! Teach me more! You, you, you gave me the same hint as before. Stop being literally random. Finding new places to plant Gasha seeds and finding secret stairways seems to be good for Gasha nuts. Yeah, I don't know what that means <laughs> offhand, but. It is a thing that is mentioned, and I just wanted to, to bring that up. Anyway, uh, the prize you can get at the Sabrosian Dance Hall is also the Strange Flute. It's worth mentioning where you find it determines things that are gonna happen soon, so I just, just wanted to point that out. Where am I going? I've already forgotten. I mean, I didn't, but I did also. Ah, there's a seed patch there. I can't believe it. I can't believe that there would be a seed patch in this exact location. Oh yeah, you know what? I got the cuckoo decks. I can go and uh, help out lady girl over here who doesn't know anything about cuckoos. That might be useful. Hey, my dad went to climb Mount Cuckoo. It's a mountain made of cuckoos. Hey, is that a cuckoo dex? That would be a big help. Sure. Really, thanks. Have a lime lime egg. These eggs are all the rage with cute girls. Why? It's a beauty aid? I guess? I don't know. Who uses eggs as a beauty aid? I guess I'm just not super familiar with the times. <laughs> Let's be real here. Anyway, gotta lift some rocks. Now that we have the ability to do that, we can head north now. Uh, if you're playing a linked game, something will happen here. Don't worry about it, it's important. Uh, actually, it happens here, but, you know, whatever. Ah, finally, we got ourselves some scent seeds. Their smell attracts monsters. It's a very useful ability, I guess, if you if you really want. Like, you can actually go ahead and, uh, you know, just drop one down and all the monsters will head to it. You see, they're, they're crazy for the stuff. And then the seed goes away eventually, and you have to fight them for real. These buzz blobs, I'm pretty sure, yeah, even if you stun them, you can't hit them with your sword. So, um, the only way to kill them is to probably hit them with ember seeds? Kill them? Yes. Yes, ember seeds will do it. You could also use bombs. Stunning them will make it easier. I mean, if you actually want to kill them, you absolutely do not have to, but, uh, you know. Huh, there's some stuff going on over there, but, uh, there's a spool swamp. For the record, um, there's a few things that can happen in this game regarding this flute. Uh, if you set foot over here, things will be set into motion. I've already set them into motion, just so we're clear. That's the punching glove building. I don't want to go there. <laughs> just putting that out there, you know just in case you wanted to know. Just in case you wanted to know. It's over here across this bridge. Ah, I found myself a far for east, far for east, you know, far for east. Uh, if you set foot over here, things will be set into motion also. Uh, basically what I'm saying is I've locked myself in. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Uh, if you come over here, there's some bad dudes here that are very difficult to defeat if you want. Go ahead and stab them a bunch, they take a bunch of hits. Also, you may have noticed there's a, there's a seed spot here somewhere. As I recall, this one is actually really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and plant a seed here. The way gosh seeds work, by the way, is uh, what you get is determined by where you plant them. So I'm just, I'm trying to determine if 
the guy telling you uh, to find more locations is more referring to, like, it, different locations might be better? I'm not real sure. It's kind of vague. Sup, kangaroo? I'm Ricky! Spool Swamp is my backyard! If you go south from here, then around, and back, and up, there it is! I'd go with you, but I can't do a thing without my gloves. A guy named Blano took them, and I lost a match to him. Well, that sounds unfortunate, good kangaroo, sir. Uh, what is more confusing is that you are a male kangaroo, ostensibly, but you have a pouch? That's weird. I don't know. <laughs> I don't understand the anatomy of Zelda kangaroos. That's just a normal thing, I guess. But don't worry about it. Sup, Blano? I'm the legendary champ Blano. You want something? Then earn it in the ring. Will you bet 10 rupees? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Ah, you'll learn. Listen up. We trade punches till one of us gets knocked out of the ring. And no items. All right, we turned item spawns off. You know, we don't want a bomb landing in front of my punch. That's just rude. Uh, next match is 20 rupees and no rings, only fists. But, but how do we knock each other out of the ring if you know, whatever. All right, so this mini game is weird. You you can you can punch with the B button or the A button. You gotta punch when he raises his glove. Typically, it's weird. Um, if you get hit by the big swingy punch, he knocks you back quite a bit. Uh, honestly, you can just kind of keep mashing for the most part. Like, there's no real rhyme or reason to this. It's kind of weird. I'm trying to knock him back, but he just does not want to move. Am I, like, doing something wrong here? I swear, you're supposed to hit him while he is, like, um, raising his fist, but he's just, he's just not. You, you wanna... You wanna, you wanna, you wanna do anything? Is it because I'm getting hit? I don't understand. I feel like I'm missing something here all of a sudden. I mean, yeah, sure. You, you've already explained this rule, thanks. The heck you doing? Why did you do that magical jump flip? I have never seen him do that. Well, that time I knocked him back, but I'm not really sure, like, what triggered it. Okay, you just gave it to me. That's kind of what this usually boils down to. <laughs> Your fists are golden, kid. You the new champ. Here, take these. I got Ricky's gloves. There's only one. So why it's plural, no one will ever know. This guy unequips all your items, so you gotta re-equip them. It's, it's a little bit rude. Let's go boomerang. Why not? The boomerang is fun, right? Boomerang won't really do much to pee hats because pee hats are stinky. No one likes them. That's for sure. In fact, I have no idea how long this episode is, actually, because I, I finished a dungeon and now I'm just wandering around. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. I got these gloves back. We're going to give them to Ricky. It's, it's all right. I'm Ricky. Spool Swam in my backyard. You already said all this. Uh, you get... Th those are my gloves. You brought them back? Thanks. In exchange, I'll take you to Spool Swamp. Get in my pouch. Press A to punch or save power and unleash a tornado. I can also jump small holes or cliffs. Ricky's pretty cool. You can uh, bounce around, and bounce out of the thing by pressing B. You can punch a whole lot. You can hold the A button and shoot a tornado. Ricky's pretty rad. We're gonna, we're gonna have fun with Ricky next time. You're gonna have to wait a sec, Ricky. See you later and goodbye. <laughs>